makes up the difference between a small batch bourbon and a single barrel bourbon. Most of all, small batches, what I've, I've come to believe is that it's a blending from the mass distiller, master distillery's idea, a blending of just a couple barrels, anywhere from two to 15 barrels they blend together. That would be considered a small batch. Single barrel bourbons is exactly what it sounds like, single barrel, i.e. what you find sometimes is that the proof is much higher. So we're talking about a 50 to 55% alcohol by volume, which can be about 110 proof if you're breathing fire. Uh, but that brings a singular idea. Same thing as in wine, you have a single vineyard. Single vineyard designate, they take the, the qualities of one particular barrel and they make it into a great, great bourbon. What has sparked this trend is um, a desire to bring in bourbons with definite quality and distinctive nature. So what I find is that we're finding them to have more rye, blending a higher level of rye, as in the Forgiven, or as in the Four Roses, which can have up to 40, 50% rye. The rye or proponent of these bourbons gives it a spiciness, gives it a floral note, a robustness, that really makes them individual. I would, I would recommend with these is, is the utter classic of bourbon cocktails, which would be the old fashioned. We're seeing a huge resurgence of old fashions in the restaurant business right now, from bacon old fashioned, which was a, a big sell for us here at uh, Rafino's, but also we're seeing a, a different flavored old fashions. But really, that's the mark of a cocktail. It's really a purist thing. A person, when they're going to the grocery store and they're looking to start an experiment into the small batch and single barrels, what I would say is start what you know. If you drink wild turkey, Try some of Wild Turkey's new things like the Forgiven, which is extremely limited. Uh, but if you can find it, definitely pick up a bottle. High level rye, robust, unique flavor, really nice. The importance of aging a small batch bourbon would be um, to bring more of that vanilla quality and that quality out of the oak and also give it a roundness. As it goes through it, it's called Angel Share. It does lose some alcohol by volume, so it brings a smoothness over to it identical to wine. So some of the rougher edges on the, on the alcohol begin to, to hewn out, and then you're left with that kind of integration of flavors throughout, really smooth. So what you find with like a 12 year, um, it's, it's lost some of that heavy alcohol, but what it's left with is an integration of flavors. So it's really, really great.